guys in this scene, you guys are going to absolutely love him. Go crazy for Daniel J. Para. Thank you. I'll tell you something about myself. I recently lost 160 pounds. Yeah. Uh, it, was, it was very easy. It was very easy. Uh, I, uh, I did. I used to be morbidly obese, and now I look like someone that just let himself go. Yeah. Uh, I have that. I, uh, I'm actually, it's very interesting to lose a bunch of weight at once because you learn uh, all these things that you can do physically that you couldn't do before. Did you guys know you could run? <laughs> Like, whatever, sometimes as many as two times in one day. It's insane! Wow! Uh, I did, uh, I actually, uh, I hated being overweight because one of the things that happens when you're overweight is that people try to hook you up with their overweight friends. <laughs> Even if you have nothing in common, they'll be like, hey, this is Sarah, she also loves to go not jogging. <laughs> I think you guys would be great together. You're a match made in fat heaven. <laughs> Everything ramps down in fat heaven. <laughs> you're like, well, she's overweight and you're overweight. I'm sure everything else is perfect. <laughs> Here's a sandwich. Now, mate! <laughs> mate! <laughs> mate, you preach up the dark beyond mate! <laughs> Something else about me, I don't look it, but I'm Hispanic, uh, and I don't have like a Latin look. I, uh, I was in Bay Ridge, and I got stopped and frisked by a cop, and he grabbed my ID, he's like, Daniel Barra fan, where's that name from? And I was like, oh, I'm Latino. He's like, you're Latino? You don't look Latino. Good for you. <laughs> so <laughs> like, what are the odds I find the one racist cop in New York City? <laughs> I'm Hispanic. I was raised in a very Hispanic neighborhood. I was raised in a tortilla. <laughs> it's a little dangerous. <laughs> a friend of mine joined the Hispanic Heritage Organization. You guys may have heard of it, the Latin Kings. <laughs> to support the neighborhood. <laughs> and one time I brought a gun to school to show it off to everyone. And I'm gonna reach for it because I want to hold it. He smacks my hand away. He's like, what are you, stupid? This is a murder weapon. Don't put your fingerprints on it. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, what a faux pas. <laughs> <laughs> like, how embarrassing. <laughs> Who doesn't know the etiquette on murder weapons? <laughs> Soup spoon left, murder weapon, no fingerprints. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> I am, uh, I, I always, I love being Hispanic, you know, because uh, you're always, uh, for me, you know, I'm 5'6", and I am the tallest person in my family. <laughs> Whenever I go to, like, a family function, it's always like, hey, Tio, how are you? What's going on? Sarah, Diana, hey! I don't think I'm that good looking, and I can tell because of how people react when I tell them I have a twin. Because <laughs> I'm like, I have a twin. They're always like, whoa, why is there no God? <laughs> it's messed up, but also really messed up when people laugh too hard at that. <laughs> me. I, I do like Google Facts all the time. Do you guys know this? Uh, it's the, uh, you could tell who does meth just by how their hand shakes when they comb their rat tail. <laughs> Do you know an entire bottle of wine can fit inside a small, broken heart? <laughs> That's where it goes. <laughs> I, uh, I, don't, I don't know. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be honest with you guys. I, I lost a bunch of weight and I picked up a weird, like, eating disorder uh, because I had to lose a bunch of it real fast. Uh, now when I eat, I feel like I'm going to gain all this weight back really quickly. But 
I try to get help for it, and I go on some websites, and it's just like, you young ladies dealing with anorexia. <laughs> And if the website's really progressive, it'll be like, you young ladies and some older women. <laughs> like, that's the only people that deal with eating disorders in our culture. It's women and other types of women. <laughs> that's it. In fact, the third paragraph in that website is just like, if you're a man, JK, no men read this. <laughs> what do I mean? Which is like, I think there's a real order to the universe. There's a thing that's an order to everything. Because I was a kid, I used to mess around with a lot of gang stuff. I used to want to be tough. I did a lot of crazy stuff. Uh, and this is true. One time, I was given a direct order by someone to stab someone else. <laughs> and now, as an adult, I don't feel good about my body. Do you know how you know weird that is? One time, me and three other friends beat a guy up for four hours. <laughs> And now I don't like bread! <laughs> Doesn't make me feel good. Real order, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, I'll leave you with these last couple of thoughts. I was actually in, uh, in this bar like a few months ago, and I was trying to pick up this girl. We were talking about our sexual fantasies, and she was like, I would love it if some guy tied me up and pretended to rape me. What's your sexual fantasy? And I was like, to have sex. <laughs> That's it, I'm fine with that. <laughs> we don't have to make things more complicated. Do you ever like live ice cream and you love vanilla ice cream and someone else is like, hey man, why don't you throw sprinkles on that? And you're like, mm, all right, fine. And then someone else is like, hey man, why don't you pretend to rape that ice cream? I was like, hey. <laughs> Sometimes me and ice cream are fine. Though we're good old fashioned missionary ice cream. I like that. <laughs> That's my favorite sometimes. Sometimes you just want to hold an ice cream's hand and look at it. <laughs> I just love it, you know what I mean? <laughs> Caress its face, you love that ice cream. <laughs> and this is, this is, I don't know how you feel politically, or uh, even economically, I think socially speaking, we're in a very tribulating time. Uh, I'm gonna say this, I don't know how many of you are gonna be on board, but I'm gonna say it, I don't care, I think women get bad hand jobs. And <laughs> it's true, all right? Ladies, it's up and down, okay? Up and down. Not up, down, sad look on your face. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh man, this is so fun. God, I, this is great.